business cycle, real GDP, and unemployment. The business cycle refers to the ups and downs of an economy, similar to a roller coaster. The economy alternates between these upturns and downturns as measured by economic indicators. Said indicators are employment, price change, and economic growth in the short run. There are four different phases to the business cycle. First is the expansionary phase. During this phase, real output is increasing and unemployment is decreasing. As it continues, inflation may accelerate. The early stage of an expansionary phase is also called the recovery phase. The second phase is known as the peak. At the peak of the business cycle, GDP is at its highest point. Third is the contractionary phase, during which real output is falling, unemployment is rising, and inflationary pressures subside. As this continues, it is known as a recession. The fourth and final phase of the business cycle is the trough. This is the lowest point of real GDP in the cycle. If it is deep enough, it can be categorized as a depression. GDP, or gross domestic product, can be measured through two different ap approaches, the expenditures approach and the income approach. The expenditures approach states that GDP equals C plus I plus G plus XN. C being consumer spending, I is investments, G is government spending, and XN is net exports. In the income approach, one simply adds all sources of income. Real GDP is GDP adjusted for inflation, or changes in price levels in the economy over time. This provides a more accurate measure of economic performance, as it takes out effects of price change in order to view changes solely in output. In order to calculate real GDP, one must know both the nominal GDP and the price index, or CPI. Nominal GDP equals the raw GDP for that year, while CPI equals the current year cost divided by the base year cost multiplied by 100. Once you know these two things, you can measure for real GDP, which equals the nominal GDP divided by the price index divided by 100. As an example, if in year one the nominal GDP is $5,000 and the price index is 125, and in year two, the nominal GDP is $6,000, while the price index is $150, then the real GDP in year one would be $4,000, and the real GDP in year two would also be $4,000. Initially, they seem to have different GDPs, but the real GDP puts in perspective that they're actually the same. In order to measure for unemployment, the adult population, or people aged 16 and older, is asked whether they are employed, unemployed, or not in the labor force. The labor force is defined as people either employed or unemployed while searching for a job. Those not searching for a job aren't considered unemployed, but are instead considered out of the labor force. The unemployment rate equals the number of unemployed divided by the labor force times 100. As an example, if there are 100 people in the labor force, 93 are employed, and seven are unemployed, the unemployment rate will be 7%. There are three different types of unemployment, and the first type is called frictional unemployment. Frictionally unemployed people are those who are temporarily between jobs. This includes people searching for jobs right after college, people who are trying to find a new job after being fired, people who may have quit one job and searched for another, etc. It is important to note that frictional unemployment always exists. The second type of unemployment is called cyclical unemployment. This consists of people who are not working because firms do not need their labor due to a lack of demand or a downturn in the economy caused by the business cycle. The third and final type of unemployment is known as structural unemployment. This is used to categorize people whose skills do not meet those required by, by employers, as well as people with insufficient education. At full employment equilibrium, there is 0% cyclical unemployment. However, there will always be some residual frictional unemployment, as not everyone will be happy with it where they are working, as well as some structural, as not everyone is qualified. It is also important to note that full employment is seen as an unemployment rate of 5%.